And you know who else we heard from? Who did we hear from? Recently. Who? Legendary. Legendary. Dionne Warwick. Dionne okay? Warwick. So, in a very free-flowing interview she had with Essence, Miss mm-hmm. um, Warwick did not seem to bow down to Queen Bay, Beyonce. Um, so there was a question posed to uh, Ms. Warwick that asked about Beyonce's iconic status mm-hmm. and the Bayhive, with her response, the Bayhive came for her edges. Okay? Why would they come from her hollow, gray, they silvery came edges? For you Ms. guys are disrespectful, Warwick like stop edges. it. They came for her edges. What did she say about Beyonce? She said this. It's wonderful, and she said she was a fan of Beyonce because I did did see the. the it's whole hard interview. not to be because Beyonce is a beast. She is. She's mm-hmm. amazing. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's wonderful to see how she's been able to create what and who she wanted to be and who she is. Now, now, sustaining and becoming an icon that Gladys Knight or Patti LaBelle, Johnny Mathis, Frank Sinatra, or Sammy Davis Jr. is, I doubt that. I really do. <laughs> I love her to death and I can really appreciate her talent but that status I just mentioned those four names she has a long road ahead so in your opinion do you think that Miss Warwick was throwing shade at Beyonce so I think that old black ladies throw shade period right <laughs> they say they, they have lived oh long God. enough and they will and I am she is not she is unbothered by Beyonce so she's gonna say what she needs to say right so uh-huh. I don't even feel that's shady because she's an old black lady. They say what the fuck they want to say as they, as they should. And she is earned the right. I feel like all old people do, really. Yeah, she's all earned the older, right. mature people do. Right. She's earned the right to say that. But I think that you have to just give Beyonce time. Beyonce's not even 40 years old yet, right? right? Exactly. So she's going to build that repertoire. And then at the end of the day, it's a different time that Beyonce is creating. It. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? So right. they were creating shit they had they had to create through apartheid <laughs> but they had to like they had to, like you know what i'm trying to say so mm-hmm. the love of that business is a little different for sammy davis jr and you know what i'm trying to yeah. say and i'm talking i'm talking about the black ones they had to like go you know perform at the club and then not be able to sleep at the club and all yeah yeah so coming we, in you gotta the back add door and all that, stuff. that component right to the love of that craft but Beyonce, I mean, give us some time. Yeah, give I I, time. I definitely agree with you. I think that you know Beyonce is going is on her way to icon. I, I think she's that. done a lot. I mean, think about this: twenty three awards, six six nominations well, from the her, Grammy Awards for her appears, just through her appears. Like her peers, they know beyond you bow down to to Beyonce because well, her thing. work ethic is ridiculous. It is, and that's the thing. I think it was a generational thing. So they were talking about Auntie Twitter <laughs> versus Beehive Twitter. Oh, and my like, Auntie Twitter. I, I don't know. No, no you're, you're not Auntie Twitter. Not you're not. You're not reflecting Auntie Twitter. Yo. So this is what one person said. Remember the person who created Oscar So White? Yeah. Um, I can't stand that y'all say Auntie. I don't. I don't like Ava, Auntie. Oh my God! You sound like Ava DuVernay. I do not like Ava Auntie. You know what? I do not like Auntie because it's disrespectful. It's like you guys are saying it in like this little tone that's oh like my. I'm coming for you. Listen, Auntie, oh because you know why. I, but I know why. Because we're like 15, almost 20 years apart. No. No, no, no. no. Well, how are you? Tell me something. Okay, so we're a lot of years apart. And what I think is happening is the younger women are a little threatened by us because of all the yoga and (laughs) the alkaline water and the chlorophyll. And you are hilarious. Listen, I'm just saying. You sound like Ava DuVernay. And we met. We can take our boyfriends. I think that that's what's going on. I hate Auntie. She said that. She said that. I hate. Don't call me Auntie. You sound like Ava. You sound like Ava. Don't call me Auntie. Ava said that. You're not my niece. You're not my niece. Don't call me Auntie. I'm sorry. Okay, so we can add Onika. Don't call, <laughs> so me don't call me auntie along with Ava DuVernay. Thank you. And she said, don't even call me miss. She's like, I don't want that. I'm not that old. Stop it. Okay. But let's come back to Dionne Warwick. So, um, auntie Ava Twitter. Rain. What, what is auntie who, Twitter? Tell me that first. <laughs> let's get off auntie I'm Twitter. sorry. It's like a generation. Auntie Twitter. <laughs> I thought they call it Facebook. You know what? Stop. Oh. <laughs> that would be Facebook. I'm just okay. I love this. All right, look, let's go back. So Ooh, Ava Rain said you. Oh, close on my aunt. Okay. She said, Marie Dion Warwick, this is what she tweeted out. Marie Dion Warwick is from North Jersey and nearly 80 years old. Please know that she is strapped at all times and absolutely is not one of your little friends. Not your I'm... little friends. <laughs> I'm not one of your little friends. That is a grown lady talking. I'm not one of your little friends, little fake Twitter ass. Let me tell you something. Yes, you, Dion Warwick, you're going to bow down. And guess what? Guess what Beyonce She's would say if they asked her? She right. And she right. Not for nothing. I think she would show a lot of respect. And That's this person, right. though, this person, though, is a little hater. She was, she was a little hater. Okay, she says, 
Of course, Bayhive will not obtain the icon status. The older she gets, the more her music changes to that crap that's called rap. All those songs that just get on your last nerve. There is no elegance in her music. Most of today's music sucks. When do these people grow up, especially when you are aging and have children? So who said that? The, 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 the Beehive or the Bayhive? Absolutely or? not the Bayhive. So who said that? Probably in so Auntie you, Twitter. Auntie Twitter, Auntie Twitter would not even use that. Because Auntie Twitter ain't going to say you growing up. That sounds like some young hater. You no, know, that sounds like, like some young millennial it, hater no, that's still living with her who mother. Who says crap that's called rap? No one says that. Crap. That's cool. That rap. sounds old. See. That's grandma Twitter right there. Oh, she's talking about the mumble rap. <laughs> she's talking about mumble rap. Buh, 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 buh. It is. It is a little whack. It is a little whack. It's just like. Whatever. She's like, there's no elegance, but yeah, she's because this know. is not elegant. Look at this. You know, you know what? I'm you know just what? sorry. Don't you know come what? for aunties because I will take okay. your eggs off. I'm not. I'm no, sorry. I'm, it's not even me. I'm just talking about But it's about your generation. Said. You know oh, what I'm stop. trying to say? We're going to have an argument. It's, I'm going I'm, you know, I'm repping for generation. Okay, X. while Onika is wilding out <laughs> over here, over on the Twitter. Listen, listen, listen. We want to hear we from Jay -Z, you. We got Jay-Z. We got DMX. Chime got, in in the comments. <laughs> Let us know if you think Biggie, that Tupac, T.I. Dion Warwick was dissing Beyonce. And, and which side do you come out on this whole debate? about icon but status be, and Beyonce. Dionne Warwick is not my generation. Dionne Warwick is my grandmother's generation. So you, there's no debate. You sit up and shut up. Get a, Take a seat. We, we want to hear from you. Let us know.